Wolfwalkers, uh, from my point of view, sort of encapsulates um, Cartoon Saloon because when I look at your pictures, the two things that I come away with are you guys love animation. I mean, you really love it and you love Ireland. Um, everything feels like a love letter to both of those things. Uh, Wolfwalkers especially felt like just a love letter to animation. Um, yeah, and hand-drawn animation in particular. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. The things that you, I remember when I started watching it and um, a lot of the line work was so clean. Um, and I remember <laughs> wondering if I was watching the right version because in the trailer, I'd seen all the sketchy sort of yeah. sketchy lines. And then as I'm watching, I realized, oh my goodness, when they're in the town and things are more buttoned up, the line is much cleaner and when they're out and free. Um, yeah, so that yeah. made sense. But those are the kinds of decisions that you guys made. Um, another thing where, which would yeah. take the question, is this going to work? Yeah, yeah. How did you guys? Yeah, I like it. Those I like, I like kind of wandering out a little bit into the deep end and taking risks like that, especially, you know, it keeps it kind of fresh. If we just did everything the same way over and over again, you would get a bit, you know, tired. But I like trying stuff out. And what I liked about Wolfwalkers is we had, you know, we had great partners, our co-production partners and Apple. Um, so we had a chance to be a little bit more like some of our style on Secret of Kells was also a function of budget, you know, that we could only work, we, you know, you could only do what you could do. But we actually had the budget, I felt, on Wolfwalkers to try something more experimental and more daring. And that's why I thought it would be fun to, to push the line work and everything as well as the stuff we, we normally do and the animation, too. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was definitely a love letter to Kilkenny, where Ross and I grew up, and this is our home, and uh, hand-drawn animation. We really wanted to get that. And you talk about Ghibli, like the tale of Princess Kaguya had really shown me, like, oh, there's a language to the line that we haven't been utilizing. And, you know, CG animation, like, I'm not against it. In fact, they might use a, a, a type of CG animation more and more, like Moho, that kind of cut animation. But when I saw Into the Spider-Verse, we were in the middle of of wolf walkers and i was like wow finally i'm seeing like a mainstream cg using the whole language of comics and animation and everything that can be done and it just kind of felt like they had thrown down the gauntlet that we you know anything that anybody had ever thought was a bit crazy or that we were trying something too experimental visually i could point them at into the spider verse and say well look we're not even going half as far as these guys so that was that was great to see and i felt like we were part of a kind of hopefully a maturing of the visual language of family features where shorts and experimental stuff had been experimenting with those things for a long time but now features for a mainstream audience are becoming more and more savvy to what can be done besides hyper realism and uh, yeah it felt exciting and frustrating seeing stuff that I'd always wanted to do you know, play out on screen in Spider-Verse it's like ah <laughs> Yeah, just you know, flipping through the uh, the art of Wolf Walker's book, I mean, you get a sense that there's just a lot of synergy and a lot of camaraderie and a lot of you guys are each bringing a lot to the table uh, to sort of come yeah. with a, this. We both, um, you know, because we've been grown up together and we were, you know, passionate fans of animation and comics and stuff as teenagers and kids, and then in animation school and then into Secret of Cows. There were so many things we talked about and we felt, okay, let's make this the big triple decker sandwich where we just pack in all the stuff we've always wanted to play with into one project. So we were like, oh, do you remember we were going to use ink splats to show anger? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Or, you know, it, that was felt like that. It felt like, let's go for it. And it's also left us with a big question mark what we do next, because it's kind of like it was deliberately designed as the last hurrah of this style. And now we're kind of going, oh. And it's exciting again, because we're like, what will we do next now that we've done everything we can do with that style, we think, you know.